now. Yeah. yeah. I can see. Okay, I will put pause. Okay. Bye. Now it's recording. Thank you. So there is some of uh, the questions I put it in today's code MD markdown documents. Um, so um, the question is about the this uh, we were talking about Pascal about the update for RFC 6550. So we have three documents and uh, what do you think? Mm. Ripple update. I uh, use a Ripple info update for indicating the new RPI in the data compilation option flag. Mm. But we indicate as well that this uh, use of Ripple info uh, work for mode of operation from zero to six, and from zero for seven we don't. It might indicate something different. So. Sure. So, so yeah. can we take a step back and um, uh, before we talk about how we need to change, because I, I think there's you know, three documents that have come forward for publication, turn yeah. on, use of Ripple Info, and uh, Unaware Leaves, right? Um, that based on the recent discussions, we may want to update 6550 and change the MOP definition, all that stuff. Um, I want to try and argue for us not to do that in those documents. Um, if I can do that at the top, then I can either succeed or fail, and then we can go with the rest of the discussion. Is that okay? You are proposing that this update not happen in the, any of those three documents, but in another document. That's exactly what I think, because I think that, that uh, you know, I know the working group is obviously discussing uh, Ripple v2 and MopX and capabilities and all this stuff, um, but we have this sort sort of not parallel but but related work, which is all the publication work, and we're running behind, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning that everything that we're publishing now is Ripple v1. Um, I think all of us have said in the last week or so or couple of weeks that we don't know exactly what Mop7 is going to be. We have a very good idea, or you have a very good idea compared to me, of what that is going to be, uh, but we don't know yet. So we can, so I think that we better wait in the publication until the publication catches up to MOPX or whatever, where MOP7 is actually defined and everyone already agreed on we're gonna do compression or not, or you know, whatever it is. Um, and then that can update everything. Instead of us updating some things now and having, I don't know, five different documents updating uh, different things and registries and all this stuff, um, where maybe, and I don't know if this is true or not, but it could be that we update something today and six months from now or a year from now when Mopix comes through that you guys decide that that was the wrong update or that we need to update again, right? Uh, maybe not the wrong update, but that we need to update something different. Well, that's what I, what I would like to advocate. You know, to keep these documents, the ones that are already set for publication, and Ripple v1 documents, which would mean that, for example, for the Tibet Tibet, it would say, well, here's a bit, and that's it, right? We don't actually say anything about the mops, because by default it applies to all the mops, um, and then later, we say, oh, here's mop seven, and all these bits will be defined or whatever happens. Uh, Here's all the updates for those documents. We tried that path, Alvaro, but we failed. I don't know why you say you failed. Well, that's the recent thread that we had with uh, Michael. So maybe, Michael, since you understand very well and you are better at English than I am, uh, do you want to explain or do you want me to do it? Um, uh, since I don't understand what you're saying, you'd better start. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> so that's where we are, uh, Alvaro. So, for things like the, the INR, yes, uh, we can we can describe what we have, and when MOP7 comes in, they can describe something else for the flag. So that that far that far is where we didn't fail. We we think what you propose works. 
what doesn't work is what we say today to the implementer about testing the map or not testing the map. And right now we are telling the implementer you test the map and if map less or equal to six, then use the T flag. So that's the good. All those three flags. But there must be an else to that close. Uh, right, so so I understand that, but the only reason you're saying that is because you know that seven is going to be something else, and that's my point. That the implementation just has, hasn't catch up. If we don't tell the implementation to to do the test in less than six, then we imply that this implementation will behave, will read the tibet and implement with us. So if you define something else in the future, it will not be backward compatible. So you will break that compatibility unless you tell today to the implementer not to trust the bit right. of flag seven. And I'm totally, I'm totally with that. And the only discussion, as far as I'm concerned, was I was thinking that we could just leave it undefined as to what the behavior was. But Pascal is right, um, because it is a data plane change, as is, I guess I realize now the the flag in in use of RPL. I didn't really think of it that way before. Um, then we need to tell them uh, there. We need to tell them that it's on at that point. So, so, so the part that I don't understand, and, and you know, hopefully you guys can tell me, is five, six, and seven are not defined, right? We don't yeah. know what the mode of operation is, and the person writing code today wouldn't know what it means. Right. So. I don't know, someone comes up with a new mode of operation that they want to call five, right? Um, or that that's the allocated number for five. Yeah. And today we already defined the T bit yeah. for five. Yes, right? we do. So they cannot so, use it. It's defined. We don't have access to it. No, no. So what that means is that the mode of operation five. Um, what has to use that bit? Yeah, I guess it has to use it, that it bit. Is, it is defined in the header. So they, if they want six bits to do some other interesting things, they can't get access to that bit with 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 five or six. Without breaking backward compatibility. Right. The bottom line is, we 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 said that the group that we did not want to lock those bits forever. Right. So we we, we, we want them it, back. We want them back because they're they're right. they're okay. carrying every single Too control sure packet that. going out. Okay. So I, I understand that. Um, I still don't understand why Mopex can't reclaim those bits for seven. Okay. So we need to give it a time bomb. And because the implementation of today, if you want it compatible in the future, and as Michael said. First thing, understand what the data plane point because it's fundamental. You a host, a node, a, a node that does not understand the mode of operation, like a code done today, will be a leaf. It cannot be a router if it does not understand right. the mode of operation. So it will be a leaf. Today's code. You understand that? Oh, I have to be a leaf. Sorry, I don't understand this part. Now it wants to generate a packet. What does it do? It still needs to be on to be able to know, oh, should I use uh, OX23 for the uh, ripple uh, information? And should I compress or not compress? He needs to know what to do, even as a leaf. He's not, he's not a ripple unaware leaf. He is a ripple aware leaf. Okay, so what you guys are doing is, uh, for the nodes that we have today, by defining this behavior of seven, in the future when seven is defined, some of these nodes are not gonna be updated. Yeah. So at day one, yeah. They right. Yeah. So at some point, you're going to have many nodes running seven with the updated code, and some nodes not running seven because they have the old code. So at least they'll know not they need to compress, and they, at least they know something. Okay. And, and 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 I think the other thing to realize about Mop X to go into that is that is that one of the extensions that today's code is not going to know is Mop X. And since mop X is likely signaled by mop value seven, mm -hmm. okay, they're not going to know this uh, what the actual mop value is because they don't know how to decode the mop X extension, which gives us more bits, more 
values. Okay, right? I understand. Okay, I think right. I understand. Uh, okay, great. So, um, okay, so several things we need to do, of course, right? We need to, uh, if we're going to go update 6550, right? One of the things someone needs to define at some point in one of the documents is uh, you know, how we're treating this differently, right? Because 6550 assumes that all the bits apply to. Um, all the bits apply to all of the mobs. Correct. Yes. So someone needs to go change that, right? One of the documents needs to go change that. Uh, the other thing that needs to happen is that in this latest one, in uh, turn on, for example, uh, it says seven is considered unassigned or something like that. I don't have the document in front of me. Okay. Um, the T bit for seven is considered unassigned, right? Or something like that. Yes. Uh, we need to reflect that in the registry. Right, because when you go look at the registry, all the registry says today is mob values one through seven, right? And that's it. It doesn't say, uh, or, or not mob, mob, mob values, it says uh, bit values, right? Here's a T bit, and we assume that it applies to all the mobs. So we need to update the registry so that it shows that for seven, that bit is unassigned. I'm not even sure where it says where we where that. I don't think there's a registry for that bit because I think it's just. A reserved field that we uh, we get by updating 6550. But no, no, there is a there is a registry for yeah. where the T bit is being assigned from. Okay, yes, I, there, I didn't is. Think there was. So, okay. so that registry needs to be updated so that when someone else goes looks at the registry, it says, "Oh, look at that! For mobs through through six, uh, there's that bit called T. For mob seven, that bit is free. I can go use it for something else." That's that, well, Faro, that's the question for you, right? Um, do we need to do that now? Well, right, so the chicken and the egg, right? Yes. Oh. Because otherwise the registry doesn't show that, and the next guy, or, you know, whatever, the next guy is obviously going to be you guys, right? But but the specifications are going to be complete because you're, you're saying in the text that this bit is unassigned, but, but it's not. Is correct. The registry is correct for everything that it says. The day people want to define MOP7, then... Right, so, so that's the same argument that I'm making, right? So we're going around in circles. So either we define the thing here or we don't. If we're going to define it, we need to define it correctly. Uh, okay, I thought we could live without the INF. Uh, no, and, and I mean, I, I, I now understand why you guys want to sort of preempt the definition, not preempt the definition, but, but tell the developers no. now, even though you don't know what's going to happen, right? Um, that, that this is going to happen. I, um, I think I did. I, I'm not sure. I, I think I found the right registry. DoDag information object flags. There are no registrations at this time. Um. Maybe not. I have to go look at the thing. Well, I guess I'm surprised flag, that we have this empty flag, this empty registry. Could be, but even if it's empty, the, the expectation is that it's valid for all mobs, right? But so, so the point is that I think, Alvaro, you, you want us to write a document that updates this registry, probably adds a column that says valid mop, valid in mop, and then lists what they are. No, uh, you can put that in the turn on in the turn on document. Only valid for certain mobs. Right, exactly. Because in there is where you're saying that the T bit is not assigned for seven, right? That that bit is free. Is the second position or whatever it is for the other ones. Yeah. So you, you uh, don't want us to change the registry to indicate the mops in the column. You don't. Have, you don't think we need a column then? Okay. No, I think we do. I think we do. But but what I'm saying is, I don't oh. think you need a do another document. I think that because in turn on um, whatever eighty one thirty eight, that is where you're saying that the T bit does not apply to seven, right? Well, that's Before you can change the that, registry. Right? Now, three docs, the first one in history, I mean, the most advanced one, is use of ripple info. Uh, sure, I mean, if you want to go change it there, sure, we can go change there. In some document, what I mean is we don't need an extra document. We already have some documents that are uh, allocating values from there, right? From that registry. Well, so we can just use that. 
the first flag well, I... that was there is the A flag, but I'm not sure if the registry covers it. Or maybe yes, it does. It's in the registry. I just found the right link, the right thing. Okay. So there's three items in there. Yes. Uh, use of RPL info got an early allocation of that bit. Um, A and PCS, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're two. And that because we have only two bits left, I think that's why we really desperately want them back. And um, so why I guess one question is why didn't this come up? Well, we didn't say we didn't say we, we wouldn't want it for mop value seven for RPA RPI enable. Um, so I think, uh, you know, honestly, I think, um, well, I missed it and everyone else missed it at the AAG as well. Um, so so what, what what is what is this? So it's still here. You saying that we need another document, or we need to put this into into use of RPL info to change something? But I don't know what it is since you don't want a new column. No, we do want a new column, right? So in this in this registry, in that DODAC configuration option flags, right? Mm -hmm. um, we need a new column or that says uh, I don't know MOPS. Um, valid valid for MOP. Correct. Yeah. Uh, either a new column or we need to figure out some format so that when I look at it and I can see that uh, bit three, right, um, from uh, user or RPL info applies to everything up to six and that for seven, that bit is free. Okay. Do you want us to do this in use of RPL info? Uh, we can do it there. If that's the first place, and I think that is what makes sense, right? Okay. Um, I will write, I think it's three paragraphs in the IONIC yes. considerations. Yeah. Okay. I don't think it needs any language anywhere else. Um, no. And I think that what we need, the only thing we need to revise or, or just make sure is that the same language that we're using in user RPL info is the same language we're using in turn on. I mean, there is turn on and there is an aware lease, as you know. No, no, for, for the allocation of the bit, right, where it says that this only applies to MOPS 0 through 6, that one paragraph, we want it to be you know, pretty much the same thing. Okay, I'll, I will write that this afternoon. I'll write that this afternoon, and, and uh, uh, is uh, use of RPL info, I think, is not back in the RFC editor queue yet? No, no it's not. not. And, um, yeah, I'll, yeah, correct. Um, yeah, it's been a while, and uh, I need to... Figure out yeah. what we're going to do with that, right? If we need to last call it again or something, or at least I'll tell the ASG, give them a head up, heads up. All right. Well, okay. I, I will write that. I know what you want to written. I'll write that this afternoon, uh, and uh, I'll post the, the the two or three paragraphs to the list uh, directly. Um, and uh, you might want to last call that only on its own or something, or... Right. At some point, well, at some point when you guys return use of our field info to me, which I think now is going to be like in version 41 or something. Well, it's 41 yes. now, so uh, yeah. it will be 42 right. now. Right. So that's like yeah. 12 versions, right, or something yeah. that you guys had. It. So we need to figure that out, right, whether we uh, do a quick last call or what do we do. Uh, but in any case, um, yes, we need to put that there. The other thing that someone needs to say, and I don't know exactly where in 6550 it talks about all the bits applied to all the mops but it clearly needs to be spelled out that that is the update that is an that's update part, to that's part that is that we're, we're updating so so yes. i'm going to add so i'm going to add an uh uh three paragraphs to, to um uh use of rpl rpl info iana considerations uh updating <laughs> above registry to have mop column and then new section uh updating 6550 on mop right well you know this be a new section it just be yeah, a new paragraph wherever you talk about the bit only applying or not applying to mop 7 right there's a paragraph somewhere yeah there is section 43 is the update to rpc 65 Right, so it may just be, you know, a, a paragraph that says, I don't know, 6550 in Section 5 says this, this RFC updates it to say this other thing. That's it. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have a question. Uh, yeah, so, so 
there are two other things which are in, in this flag. Basically, you know, we want to reclaim the, the ones that we are declaring. But the question really is, those other things which are there, one is, is to control the fan out. Nobody ever implemented it. And the other is uh, about the security and that was built in repo. And for all I know, no one implemented that. And implemented as well. So those are the two. These are two things which actually got zero success in repo v1. So one way of doing the change is to actually say, hey, by the way, all those flags, including the existing ones, are just valid for the repo v1. And we, in repo v2, we may reallocate the exact same ABS if we like, or we may not. Uh, or it, um, the point is, I think Pascal is that. All of those flags are now going to have a MOP value for which they're va uh, valid. Exactly. Okay. But, but, this IANA consideration has to initialize the other A and PCS uh, columns to something reasonable. And I think you're suggesting that they be zero through six so only as well. Everything being zero through six. In yeah. which case, in which case, we don't really want to call it. I, I, you know, we suffered a lot from columns. For for six lopan, we we have those pages and stuff, and we started creating a column, and now it's becoming a total nightmare. Yeah. Because you have to reproduce everything for each when you turn something in the column. I mean, it's becoming critical, impossible. Okay. We're actually, rolling back the prime of column. So what I would suggest is instead of calling things column, just tell Ayana that this registry is only valid till MOP6, and from MOP7 on, we'll create a new registry, which will have a new flag, and we, we'll define them all. But just just give a time bomb to the whole registry. That could be the effect. So what you're saying is redefine the existing registry to be called uh, Dodak configuration options flags for MOPs 0 through 6. Yes, that, the change would be exactly that. And then eventually, or maybe in the same document, I don't know, we do an empty registry that is called uh, Dodak flags for Bob 7. And it's totally empty. It's empty. Uh, sure, that works. Do, that works sorry, do we need to create the new registry now? <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I love this question. The answer is uh, no. I prefer yes, just because okay. that way okay. you can define okay. the registration and all that stuff, right? Okay. Think I mean, I mean, you know, you, we want to create a registry for a mobster which might never exist. I mean, for all I know, it might never exist. I, I, I couldn't hear you well. I'm sorry. I'm saying this map 7 might never exist. If it does, then it's time to create the registry where it exists, right? As long as we, we, we place the time bomb because we never have a wrong registry. The registry would be exactly what the, we want in the code, just by saying the registry applies up to six. That's exactly what we want in the code. The code would be totally in spite of the registry if we don't define seven. So why should we? So, okay, so what you're really going to do is something different, right? What you're really going to do is, and I need to pull up uh, 6550 to know how this is defined, but the mops are defined, which I don't know where they are. Um, just in this option, this header, yeah. What's the section there, just so I can uh, look at it? Well, anyways, uh, you, you now have these uh, uh, three bits, right? Um, uh, well, whatever. So what you're basically doing, if if I understand what you're, what you're trying to say, Pascal, is you want to sort of reserve, take that bit, and, and I don't know how this is uh, set up, take that bit of that value and say, well, this value is reserved. So that you can't assign uh, seven at all. Um, so there's a there's a uh, registry right that is about the mops. True, a mode of operating yep. registry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So right now, five through seven is unassigned or unassigned. Yeah. Um, uh, let me think about this. So if you reserve seven. Right, that means that no one can assign it. So five and six would be unassigned, seven would be reserved. Later, mop X or someone is going to come uh, use seven for something else. 
Um, and then the other registry can just say, <laughs> because what you want to avoid is to find that other registry for seven, right? Because that may be some other bits later that we can yes. reclaim for I something want else. Not to define it at all because there is no right. stack in front of it. You just want to mark, so you additionally want to mark seven as reserved, is what I heard you saying. Mark yeah, that's value what I'm seven thinking. Is reserved. Right, that's what I'm thinking, that if we mark seven as reserved and rename the current registry for just zero through six, and that's it. Um, I More importantly than me buying that, um, uh, Martin Book has the discuss on why aren't we assigning seven, right? Um, so I think that you know Ben's discuss should get resolved by us rename the, the rename the, the registry because now it's clear that you know things apply to what uh, Martin was making the point that um, if we're doing things to seven but seven is not assigned then maybe we can't do things to seven um, but you know maybe we can convince him that this is okay yes there was a point so just to be clear the mop value is in the DIO base. Uh, uh, thing and the the flags in question are actually in the dodag configuration option correct right so so there's a little bit of a separation between these two but what we're actually saying is the dodag configuration option is um valid only for zero through seven six which, almost... is, which you don't even have to say if you say that seven is reserved because seven does not exist yeah but... well Yes, kind of, because in this case, they are not bits, right? They're values. Yeah. So the whole MOP field includes a value of seven. Yeah. Right, so if it was bits, we can just reserve that one bit and forget about it, right? And, and just call the rest flags or whatever. Um, but in this case, because they're not bits, they're values. Then I think we still should just for clarity uh, rename the, the registry. Clarity doesn't hurt. I might give it clarity. Okay, so, so we would mark... In the mode of operations, we would mark seven as reserved rather than unassigned, and yep. it would be reserved by this document. Right. It would be the 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 reference. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That would be the um, reference. And um, okay. Right. And so in the text, you can say something like, "Yeah, this is going to be reserved for future enhancements." Whatever. Right. Uh, yeah. You don't need to be specific about that. Um, and uh, and that's it, right? So we're actually doing a good thing, right? We're reserving something for extensibility in the future, and um, we're basically saying, well, because we don't know what the, that extensibility is, then all the flags that are currently defined apply to the things that we kind of know, or or the normal stuff, right? Not the future things, mm -hmm. also through zero through six, through six, um, and. Um, and that's it. I mean, the only uh, part where we need to convince Martin is because in the document, if you're still going to say, even though seven is not defined, it's not assigned, et cetera, but you still must do compression or whatever. Um, th that's the only place where he might be. Um... Actually, there is another one. He, he, he said, hey, why do you say it's okay for five, six to use the bit? They are not defined either, right? But that's because those bits, everything we define there is for a transition. So we basically said oh, the transition happens between 6 and 7. And that, that's the piece where he was not too happy. But th th there is a reason for that. It's that we, we know we cannot leave for it as a value. We know they are just to mark, to, to enable a transition. They're, they're for the, we don't know how to call it now, but it used to be called bond field. And so there's a point where the transition will be over. And when you implement something today, people must know, oh, if there is this code in that device, here is how it's going to react for five or six and four seven. Yeah, we well, must know that now. Well, one reason is we don't have any private use mop value. Um, so having five and six, you know, we may never use them. They may wind up being one of the mic by signed later on as a private use for someone to experiment with or something like this, it, it, unless we, you know, discover, you know, DAO projection or something needs it or something. 
Yeah. Right. So, so okay. I think no, we can uh, convince uh, Martin. I, I don't think, you know, this is, he was about to clear his discuss anyways. So I think we can convince him that this is okay. If we market it as we're reserving seven for extension and we just know that compression is a good thing. So we're just saying, if you do, if you can seven, you have to use it. I mean, the same thing you told me about you know, in the future, because you don't, you, you're going to only do be a leaf. Then you want to make sure that you can interact with whatever's out there. Yeah, that's the bottom line. We want, we want to know for sure what the, this box has as a leaf facing a network which is MOP7 or MOP5 or MOP6. When, when, so we can have a section about backward compatibility in the draft for, for 5, 6, and 7. So, yeah. If 5 doesn't obey the rule of having the T-bit, they want to redefine it, they will break backward compatibility and they know it. If 7 wants to use the T-bit, they will not break the backward compatibility and they know it. That's, that's basically what we're saying. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, so if we can explain uh, that there as we reserve it, then, yeah, that's a good thing. So, Michael, the pressure is on your shoulders now, because you're the one to craft the right word. I'll craft some paragraphs, and I will post them later this today. Um. And so we need, uh, okay, so all that is going to go into use of RPL info, right? Yes. Okay, so and so cool. in uh, turn on, which is the one we, uh, because use of RPL info already sort of passed, um, in uh, turn on, what we need is just a reference to that. To the, to the I, new I, registry. I need right. info. There's two things I need, Alvaro. Um, one of them is we need to decide which default we're going to have for seven in the code. So that's one thing. That's all this. Uh, it has to be compression. It, it does. It has yeah. to be compression, it but your point about making it dependent on the interface makes sense. So we have to discuss that. Uh, it, well, you can't use compression on interfaces that don't support six low pen. Exactly. So we could the sentence <laughs> right. could so. be the sentence could be if you have a six low pen interface, do compression. If you have a non six low pen interface, don't use compression. If you're forwarding between the two, compress or decompress. Yeah. Whatever. So so I can I can do those words. So if we agree on them, then that's easy for me. Now the second piece, Alvaro, is the one which kills me. Is this disagreement I'm seeing uh with all the reviewers, and it really depends, uh, maybe if they come from my population, you know, the plain authors, or from the ASG where you know the most recent rules or what. But I never know, I, I know when you want to update the document for more updates, it's when the implementation needs a change. Right, so I think, uh, you know, the, the, the reason that we're asking for update now is because of the changes to seven, right? That's In, for use of ripple. So use of ripple does this change. Uh, no, no, no. Th th that's what we're saying now. The document that they saw, yeah, yeah, was turn on. I mean, they already forgot about use of RPL info, right? Okay, but say, <laughs> say use of ripple info does the change. So that's the official update. Right. So that's where the update should go. So that, that's why I'm saying, right? In, in this one, in turn on, in turn on, we say basically the same language. Hey, we're going to do seven is undefined. Uh, or, or we don't even need to say that, right? We don't even oh, need to say seven is undefined. Um, but, you know, whatever we say, we point to use of RPL info where we're going to have this new text mm -hmm. that updates 6550 mm -hmm. and uh, does the registry and whatever else we talked about. And so uh, that's it, right? If they say, well, you need to update. No, we don't need to update anything because we're updating it there. So do I remove the formal update? Yes, so because you only put it there because of the confusion about seven. Okay. Well, that's for you. That was your reason. I'm not 100% sure that Benjamin Kedak was exactly IQ on this. Well, uh, yeah, he'll be fine. He will be okay. fine. Okay. If, if he has text to look at on the other side. And okay. there is... I, I have to go because I have a 1045 and I, I have to okay. visit the washroom um, before <laughs> then. Um, so I'm going to do this text, and I'll happen this today, and um, hopefully that'll. Uh, I'm going to post the text to the list first. I'm not going to push the the version out immediately. Is that okay, Alvaro? Let these guys. Um, yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, review yeah, it, yes. and then, um, and then I'll I'll put a version out. Okay. 
And I think you should do a, I think you should do a short ITF last call on use of RPL info. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's what I think the well, right answer is. So I'm just going to go. Sorry. Yeah. So whenever, um, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Go Michael. I'll, I have something. Um, so, um, yeah, for use of RPL info, when you guys are ready and, uh, Dominique, uh, you, um, right. You're doing that summary so that I understand all the changes, uh, quickly. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah. yes, I'll basically take that and um, maybe summarize it a little bit more and uh, do the ITF last call myself because I mean, the working group has already been talking about this. Uh, there's been that IOT review, which is a good thing, you know, et cetera. And uh, so I'll just, you know, put a summary of your summary <laughs> in, mm -hmm. the, um, in the ATF last call, do the last call, and then I'll put the document back in the AEG because we have to, but then I'll, I'll put the same summary so what that usually means is that the people who already balloted, they will look at the changes and hopefully not have any other issues with that. Um, and uh, you know that's where I'll um, you know, talk to Martin and Ben so that they know that the change that they want is actually going into a different document um, for the update of 6550. Uh, and uh, we might have to wait until that happens so that they approve everything, right? And so we approve the, you know, both at the same time. Uh, or, or something along those lines, uh, which I don't think is a big deal because we, we're going to have to wait for for the other documents anyways, um, and uh, then we should be we should be good. So for so, so then I will just ask you for the the, 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 the RFC is thirty one turn on. Uh, do I need to update uh, to to have to have a formal update for RFC? Uh, uh, Eight one three eight or something, because that, yeah, initially you had three formal updates. Because I thought, you know, if you build on something, then you update it. Only now, if you don't change the existing implementation, you don't update them. So I removed the uh, DCO thing. Initially, right. I removed everything, and now I put back uh, update repo and update uh, the compression thing. So when we went to ITF, uh, when we went to the IESG, uh, what version was that? Um, that was 12. So what did 12 say? Um, say whatever 12 said. So it really depends on who saw what, because. So 12 says it updates 81.38. So just let's just leave the 81.38 update. Okay, let me see because I think I republished. So it's uh, turn on. You see that the latest that there isn't there. Because due to those flags, I guess I restored. Oh, but okay. So 11 is what we put on the telechat, right? Now Not we're 12. 15. And now we're 15. Yes. So when we, uh, right, when we put it on the telechat, it was 11. And, um, from 11, 11 also says updates 81.38. So let's leave 81.38. And there's that section there that talks about that. And uh, let's remove 65.50. Okay. Because that's gonna be done somewhere else, right? And, uh, yeah, I, I, will, I will have a, a, some text. But when I remove 65.50, I wait for the agreement on micro stats. Then I yes. will point on it and say, oh, by the way, you know, the flag has this cast in blah, okay. Because yes. I would need to, to do it twice because unaware is also there is your review on unaware, right? So I published something. Yes. Nineteen actually. Yep. Yeah, and I need then, to go look at that. I haven't had a chance. I, I saw you post it on Friday, I think, and I haven't uh, looked at it. And nineteen, I'll, same thing. Updates two things, and I need to know, you know, if you want me to remove six by fifty. Yes. So um, yeah. So the thing. Um, right. So going back to the uh, interpretation of updates, right? Um, changes with respect to say 6550 is different than updates 6550. Um, meaning it may behave differently, but if you don't need a 6550 router to do the same thing, then we don't update it. So um, I, I put some comments there where, for example, you need for the unaware leaves, you need the 6LR and you need the root and someone else to understand all this stuff. You don't need all the other routers in the middle. So 
I'm, I'm really leaving it up to you. If you think you want everyone to go update their behavior so that they understand this no. stuff in case they become the root for some reason, I don't know, uh, or they become a 6LR for some reason, then, you know, that's a good thing. You know, that, that, that's fine. Um, if not, then we need to be clear who, right? Um, and then there's a couple of other things that are flagged that, that we do need to point that we're updating that, like a registry, and uh, even not just uh, 6550, but 6775 or whatever the other one is. The one oh, before 8505, right? Yes. Uh, because we're changing the size of that field, and I think this not just the extended one, but the other one, the normal one, uh, is affected, right? So, so yes. So this this change seems to be pervasive. I guess we need to update 8505, but for 6550, maybe we want to remove the formal update. Uh, right. So I mean, uh, if you so, so I, there is at least, and I I have I, I mean I'm doing this from memory. Uh, there's at least one place, maybe two, where I think there needs to be a 6550 update. So, you know, there, there are changes in behavior, but um, you, know, you need to be specific on what are you updating. Um, yeah, because, I mean, obviously it's a new spec, so there's obviously a difference in behavior, but um, no, no, there, there may be things that you need to update. There is an update section, I mean, because I wrote it as if we were formally updating. So you have a, a section six on updating RFC 6550. Yeah. Yes, so I put some comments in there, right, for each of the points that you were making. And I think at least one of them I said, yeah, this one needs an update. Uh, some of the other ones I, I really wasn't too sure. Again, because in some cases you need the, the 6LR and the root to support it. You don't really need anyone else. But, um, you know, think about it. If anyone could become the 6LR, then everyone needs to do this. Well, I replied to you. To yeah, I haven't seen that. They published, and and I've replied in the light that the intermediate nodes can be completely unaware. So your your version one of what you proposed, which is no, you don't have to update triple for for that particular thing. Um, right. So right. No. No. So I, I I understand that and I agree. Uh, what I'm trying to make the point now is that that intermediate node yeah. could at some point be the six LR. If it is enabled to be right, because you need to program. A number of things, right? Of if it's specification, in which right. case it will implement the specification. Okay. Okay, I'll take a look at your comments, anyways, to make sure we're on the same page. Please, please. Um, yeah, I try. I try to. I can really uh, remove, but uh, yeah, I, I believe that with, from the light, in the light of what you just said, maybe we're done. Uh, please look at my re uh, my response. Please look at the new text. Maybe you have other comments, right? I'm not saying we're done, but. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I, I I try to answer everything you, you I understood from you. Maybe there's a question somewhere in my reply. That I say mm, I did not understand really what you wanted me to do here. But yeah. otherwise, we could be in a very good shape for another. Yeah, hopefully we are. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's good. So, uh, oh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, maybe after this I'm going to send a note to Ben and um, Martin. Martin, tell them what we agreed here, right? That we're going to go update um, the other document. Last call it again. Um, and that this document is going to point to that. So that when they see the update uh, to turn on, that they don't immediately react and say, well, that didn't fix anything or something. But that they um, you know, know what's going to happen. And uh, I'll pretty much tell them that I'll tell them when it's time for them to go look at the at the documents again okay but i will i will point on use of ripple info from both so i still i need to catch an aware leaf to, to copy the exact same thing as i will do in a nowhere in yeah. a turn on yeah. so yeah. look at this other one it's updating ripple yep so so this i'll copy twice yep okay okay and i won't republish an aware until i have the your global re reply of my changes because I want to piggyback everything. If you want more changes in the nowhere, then yep. I will. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll. It'll be a couple of days. I. Uh, this mm -hmm. week we have a telechat, and so I have to go read some other stuff. Yeah. Works. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're good, I guess. Unless I have no more questions. Yeah, I think we are good. Okay. We have to do. Yeah.
Okay, so thank you, Alvaro, a lot for your help here. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you, guys. For, for thank you very much. Me. We'll stop the recording now. Okay. Okay.